custom laser engravers really focuses on the custom part of their name. Excellence is key in both product and customer service. They've only been around for about a year and a half, but getting it right by doing it right and continuing to think out of the box is key to this incredible company that continues to grow. We were looking originally to be able to personalize products for our customers and we could not find anyone to do the engraving. If we found them, the lead time was so long that it was not practical from a service standpoint. So we decided that we should do it on our own. So we did the research on a rotary engraving machine, which was kind of our very first foray into this uh, process and we bought it, we taught ourselves and off we went and had really enjoyed providing that service for a long time. I was looking for someone to engrave a shotgun that I was building for my father-in-law as a gift. He's a police officer down in South Texas and I wanted someone to put the badges of both agencies that he's worked on on each side of the gun stock. So I found Stephanie online and I contacted her and it was fantastic. It was the detail. I think that's what sets her apart from everybody else is that she does exactly what you want keeps you informed along the process. It's a very quick process for something as tough as the project was that I had her do for me and it came out just perfect. I would say that it's outstanding service. Everybody should bring their stuff down here. I've told some of the people that I work with I plan on using her, plan on sending any business I can her way. Let's talk about some of the things that you do, the different verticals each and every day, what you engrave and how you've done this for so long. Pretty much anything, yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of like our, our tagline that we have. It's like from elegant to extreme and everything in between. So I do pretty much from glass, metal, plastic, wood, guns, knives, tree stumps, rocks, and then go back to the, like the classic stuff where you could do watches, even done boots, you know, do the boot heels. If you sit there long enough, I'm like, I'm eyeballing you going, what, what can I pull off and, and pretty much engrave so you can take that home? I was in the process of trying to get some really, really special gifts for my son who's graduated from high school and also for some mentors of his. I bought something special, some beautiful knives and swords, but I wanted to really uh, take it up a notch and get it custom engraved. So that's how I came about custom engravers. First of all, I did call some other companies, and the companies, they all indicated pretty much the same type of service. When I called Stephanie, Stephanie, getting into more of the detail of what I wanted, Stephanie really took the time to help me decide exactly what I wanted. She took a lot of time and then we went back and forth with emails on a lot of different of the engraving specifics. I was really impressed with how much time she took with it. Normal day could be anything. We could have people walking through the door with different things that they want to have engraved. I could have calls on the phone. I get a lot of emails with questions about different things. So I'm really not the norm engraver. So people will call me and say, can, can you do? And I'm like, I don't know, bring it in, let's try it. I think for the most part people like the fact that we can offer a service that's not normally out there and that I'm willing to try pretty much anything if I haven't done it, and I haven't done it all, you know. I went and bought a bunch of materials and, and did some testing myself, but the best ideas come from the clients and the most unique, and I'm like, you know what, I never thought about that before, but that's really cool. So bring it in, let's try it. I usually ask them if they have an extra piece or something that we could test on before doing the actual, but you know, if they don't, that's fine. I'll, I'll figure it out because I've, I've either handled some of the material before and if I haven't, then I'll start out slow and we'll get it you know, to where it needs to be. I've been doing some jewelry designing uh, and had a client in Oxford, Mississippi who wanted some jewelry that's targeting the Ole Miss crowd and we had done some really beautiful things in 14 karat gold and sterling silver but we felt like there was a wider audience and so we decided to do some acrylic jewelry of which I knew nothing about. So I came to Stephanie. She really helped me. We both walked through the process and she's educated me on how to cut acrylic. So I always feel like I'm the only client they have because they do take the time. But I think that they want to have a variety of clients because they want to make sure that, that they're fully utilizing their machine. A lot of companies, they'll say we do this one thing, that's all we do, we do it really well, but they do a lot of things well. 
they're invited in. We bring them back to show what hap them what happens here. We show the machines. We show some of the product that we have done. We have a display in the front of various substrates and, and materials that we have actually engraved, and we talk to them about what made you stop. You know, why were you interested? And and so many times the response is, you know, I had a thought in my mind, and I wondered if your company might be the one that might be able to help me with this and it's very you never know who's going to ring that doorbell and we've had some very interesting people who have just stopped by for the most part people are going to find us in other ways but they're all welcome we, we're so excited to bring them in and show what we do and and they're pretty excited when they leave here because we're unique I think in what we offer I come over here just because we've got to, you know, look at the material and get on the same page. She took down the guidelines, she went off, and it, I mean, made me feel like, you know, I didn't have to oversee it, I didn't have to check up on it, went off, did the work, she texted me, she sent me through email, you know, okay, this is what I've got. It was easy. <laughs> it was really easy. What do you think it is that sets you apart, makes you unique in this industry? We are willing to do custom work. Generally what we have found in, you know, in the years that we've been doing engraving is that you know, there's kind of a, it's like checking a box. They do A, B, and C. But they really aren't willing to, to step outside of that and do custom work because it's time consuming. And you have to get to know your customer. Uh, you have to, to try to get into their brain and find out what their vision is and what they're thinking and what they're trying to accomplish. And that, that does take time. We're willing to do that. We're willing to look at drawings on scraps of paper and, and try to translate that into something that can make their vision come to life. I think that's what makes us different. People coming in the door and you don't know what they're going to bring or what they're going to ask and what they're wanting to put on it and they'll get some pretty intricate logos or you know long sayings. A lot of people want to put the Gettysburg Address on a, on a pencil, <laughs> I mean, you know, things like that. So you kind of, you have to guide them and tell them what you can and can't do and coming up with the creative of where to put it. With engraving, for the most part, you have to have a flat surface. We do a lot of rotary type things too, but it's been a great learning process. I don't think that I would have ever thought as a kid, you know what, I think I'm going to be an engraver. <laughs> but it's actually turned into be quite a lot of fun.